World Day of Prayer for Vocations is celebrated on this fourth Sunday of Easter, which today marks the 61st anniversary. And the purpose of this day is to publicly fulfill the Lord's instruction to pray to the Lord of the harvest to send laborers into his harvest. Pope Francis has released his message for the 61st day of prayer for vocations, which focuses on the theme, Call to Sow Seeds of Hope and to Build Peace. Some may remember the Baltimore Catechism. It was the first catechism written for Catholics in North America and was the standard of Catholic school text in the country from 1885 to the early 1990s. In the answer to the question, why did God make me? It says, God made me to know him, to love him, to follow him in this life, that I may be happy with him forever in the next. Now, I was very young and not yet Catholic when the Baltimore Catechism was around, but I've heard that answer many times over the years, and it rings true on this day of world vocation for prayer. So what does the word vocation mean? In our modern world, it might mean a vocation to become an electrician, a, a tradesman like a welder or a plumber. But the church has a different meaning. It has a different definition. And there are different vocations within the church. We hear them every day when we're at Mass and we recite the prayer for vocations. A vocation is a personal call from God to love and serve His church and His people. And these can be single or married peoples, consecrated religious like sisters or nuns, brothers or monks, or being an ordained minister like a priest or a deacon. All vocations are called to love God, and He, God Himself, truly knows what our vocation is called to be. He calls us to the vocation that will make us the most happy and the most holy. The priesthood, which is what I'll speak of today, is infinitely superior to all the other vocations because it is supernatural. God wants to shower humanity with an abundant blessing and graces, and he has chosen the priest to be that special instrument for this task. Without the priest and without the sacraments, many souls will spiritually starve and we will find it virtually impossible to get to heaven. This is why discerning vocations to the priesthood is of utmost importance. So when Christ walked among us, he directly called some special people to, to him in ministry, and these were his apostles. Christ still calls people today, and these people he calls his priests, just as he did 2,000 years ago. Priests have a special invitation to do not their work, but God's work in the world. Jesus returned to heaven, but he left behind the apostles and their successors to carry on this work. And it was at the Last Supper where Christ ordained the apostles to the priesthood. And so now priests are the voice of Christ. They're here to do his work. Priests are the hands of Christ. Jesus spent his days while here on earth helping others, healing and comforting. Our priests do the same work today, just as Christ did back then. Now Jesus spoke about vocations in the church when he said, The harvest is abundant but the laborers are few, so ask the master of the harvest to send out more laborers. Jesus told us to work and to pray for vocations. Every parish must continually pray for vocations. Today, two young few people are responding to Jesus' call to holy vocations to the priesthood, but God has not stopped calling young men to be his shepherds. Unfortunately, our culture and our busy lives drown out the still and quiet call of God. Today, we continue to hear about the priest, priesthood shortage and the immense strain that our priests are under. I used to work at Mount St. Mary's Seminary where I saw young men being formed as the next priests in our church. But we simply need more men to answer the call. Today, at our seminary, there are over 100 men studying for the priesthood in the seminary for various different dioceses. In our diocese alone, we have over 45 young men studying for the priesthood. But it's not enough. While the numbers are ever so slightly increasing, we continue to see a significant number of older priests retiring and our younger priests burning out to the constant pressure that they are seeing having to run multiple parishes. We need to continue to foster vocations to the priesthood in our archdiocese 
And the way to do this is to encourage our young men to open their hearts to the call of God. So when Jesus asks us to pray for abundant laborers, he does not mean that we need to convince God for the need of more priests. God knows what the church needs, and God will always provide for his church. He will always do his part and continually invite men to be his shepherds. We can help by praying to God to help our young men say yes to his invitation. God is providing for vocations, but so many young people are caught up in the world to hear his voice. When we think of someone who said yes to God's call, we automatically should think of our Blessed Mother. Her unselfish yes brought Christ into the world, and yes, she is our model. A person might say, well, I don't have the courage or the will to say yes to God. So I would say to that, pray to Mary. She will show you the way. Put your trust in her and put your life into her hands. We must challenge our young to consider a priestly vocation. We need to encourage them to ask for the intercession of Mary, to open their hearts to Christ, to see if there is truly a vocation being called in their hearts. And she will always help our young men to understand what God is calling them to. And she will give them the strength to say yes to her son. She will bless our young men with graces beyond all understanding. Yes, your mother will be at your side. A vocation is a call to act, not to stand on the shore with nets in hand, but to follow Jesus on the path that he has marked out for us, for our own happiness and for the good of those around us. So cast those nets into the deep. Embracing this promise naturally demands the courage to risk making that decision. In today's gospel, Jesus said, My sheep hear my voice. I ask you, you young men, have you heard his voice? You young men in the pews, if you've ever felt the slightest tug to the priesthood, if you're thinking about a vocation to the priesthood, ask Mary. She took a huge, deep, huge leap of faith with her yes. So with her help, she can help you. Ask her to walk with you on this journey. So on this World Day of Prayer for Vocations, contemplate for a moment what the Baltimore Catechism says when discerning a vocation to the priesthood. God made me to know him, to love him, to follow him in this life, that I may be happy with him forever in the next. Pray for young men to open their hearts to Christ's call and always rely on Our Lady's intercession to her son. How can Jesus say no to his mother who said yes?